What's going on YouTube, GSNow right here, in today's video I have some great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 15.0.2 and lower. So a brand new vulnerability that can be used for jailbreak purposes has been released and of course iOS 15.0.2 has also been released. This video is brought to you by Anytrans, a software that allows you to manage the content on your device, drag and drop files to your device from your computer and of course do backups and so on. Check it out in the link below. So if you go ahead in here and check the versions that are currently available for various devices, you can see that 15.0.2 is now also available alongside with 15.0.1. Now Apple has pushed this update a couple of hours ago and as you can see here there is only one single patch, IO Mobile Frame Buffer, and it's from an anonymous researcher but it says quote, an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. So it seems to have been an issue exploited in the wild and security researcher Sar Amar already has created a proof of concept for this vulnerability, has released it to the public, explaining the vulnerability and of course what they found. I have no idea how they did that since the patch has been released a couple of hours ago. So they had to diff it, they had to figure out how it works, create a proof of concept that works and also write this huge blog post in here in just a couple of hours. This is just more than we can ask for in this community. So Sar Amar posted here, quote, so another IOMFB vulnerability was exploited in the wild. 15.0.2. I bin diffed the patch and built a proof of concept. And because it's a great bug, I just finished writing a short blog post with the tech details to share the knowledge. Check it out in here. And they posted a picture of the panic log, basically showing that their proof of concept works and apparently writing A's to the memory, basically capital A. That's what Hex41 is. What caught my attention is the fact that they mention here, quote, this attack surface is highly interesting because it's accessible from the app center box so it's great for jailbreaks and many other processes making it good candidate for LPEs or local privilege escalation exploits in chains web content and so on so basically this can be used for jailbreak purposes the code that has been posted is apparently a proof of concept not a full exploit but this can be created as an exploit and of course used for jailbreak purposes so it says in here quote the proof of concepts I have shown here work all the same on 14.7.1 to 15.0.1 it's probably true for much earlier versions as well, but I checked only on 14.7.1 and newer. I checked it also on iPhone 11 Pro Max, iOS 15.0, iPhone 11 Pro Max being a 13. So yeah, this is actually great because this means that it works on newer devices as well, and if exploited, this would definitely be pretty good for jailbreak purposes, especially since this was patched on 15.0.2, so it works on 15.0.1, 15.0, 14.8, 14.7.1, and very likely 14.7 all the way down to 14.4 as well. So with all the information currently available here, thanks to Sara Mars generosity, we can now create an exploit around this and possibly use this for Uncover or Taurine in combination with other things. So this is definitely a great thing. This patch contained only one vulnerability, but a great vulnerability for the jailbreak community. So while people take a look at this and maybe create an exploit for it, what I would definitely recommend you is to stay below 15.0.2. Stay on 15.0.1 or lower, preferably stay on 4. 14.8 or lower because as I mentioned in my other video 15.0 and newer basically include a different file system that would panic your device if modified so that would be a completely new hurdle for the jailbreak community to pass now 14.8 doesn't have that so it would be much easier to jailbreak so I would definitely recommend it to stay on 14.8 or lower however thanks to SAR Amar now we have yet another powerful vulnerability and compared to others that have been released this one is known to be usable for jailbreak purposes because it's accessible from the sandbox which makes it great for that task. All we need now is a jailbreak exploit around this which of course would use all the knowledge in this post in here so it shouldn't exactly be very very hard and we might be able to use this pretty well for jailbreak purposes. So yeah I will keep you informed when that happens. I will keep you informed with the progress. For now this is just news but of course I will make a video once we have more info. Thank you for watching I am GSNow. Till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.